So here we are, man. Starting off with the Battlefield 2042 beta. This is Jada's 09 coming at you with some raw footage from today's first session. Having hands on with the beta early access, you know, of course, with the pre order, much like many people are playing right now and getting used to the game. Well, guess what? We got in. And it took a while for those servers to get up and running, but I tell you what, once they started working, I really started seeing the potential in this game. And I will say that the overall feel reminds me of that Battlefield 3 era. It, you know, and, and one thing that I'm really happy is that I kind of feel like it avoids feeling like Battlefield 4. Um, Battlefield 4 was good in its own right, but it definitely wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be and I didn't actually catch on to it as much and there's a couple reasons why I will talk about that later on but what we're seeing here with the gameplay that I'm really just getting a feel for it this is actually gameplay from a little bit later on in the session so you're gonna see a mixture of both no HUD action uh, you know basic you know first steps some basic moves you know kills that I get uh, just kind of getting the feel for it. I've been tweaking my settings to find out what works best for me And what works best for me is of course having the sensitivity of at least uh, 45 maybe upwards of 60 I'm still trying to fine-tune where exactly I want to be at with that But overall man, I gotta say man the gunplay does feel good once you lower that dead zone on your right analog stick to maybe like anywhere between 8 to 15 I think that's where the sweet spot is so get your settings on that if you haven't already I feel like that definitely keeps your character much more reactive uh, you see right here I'm just crawling in I'm seeing that obviously since this is a beta you're gonna see a little bit of weirdness like this right here uh, they definitely have to work out the kinks with that because Battlefield is typically a FPS game even in melee animation so I could see that they're kind of copying Modern Warfare like that. But this is definitely not Modern Warfare. You will notice some things that are similar, some things that are familiar that are going to allow people to transition from Modern Warfare into a game such as Battlefield 2042, such as the tactical sprint, uh, the longer slide animations. Some of that stuff does carry over from Modern Warfare, and it is a good complement for the Battlefield universe. Uh, some things that are missing that I've noticed from previous Battlefield games are going to be things like Lean and Peak. Don't think that's a thing, at least I'm not in the beta, so I haven't really seen much of that. Um, but of course with any beta you're going to have all kinds of things that need to be tweaked and you know, uh, all that stuff is going to be adjusted over time, but I feel like the potential here is fantastic. Uh, you're going to see right here a bit of a glitch. Talk about the movement in this game, you know, <laughs> like the movement in this game, aside from, of course, weird stuff like that, is actually very fluid, and I feel like this game is really going to shine in those close quarters maps, things that are a little bit more hectic. Uh, it may be able to capture some of that vibe that Battlefield 1 perfected. You know, Battlefield 1 being a trench warfare, that was a masterpiece in its time. And I was honestly my favorite PlayStation 4 game was Battlefield 1. So this game definitely has a lot to live up to to top a game such as Battlefield 1. You know, such a unique game and a unique era. And now we're going back to the modern era, which is what we kind of all wanted anyways, right? But they're doing it right. And it looks like they're doing this, uh, you know, with all hands on deck. You got Criterion, you got EA, all you know, all over you know California and all their all their departments from Europe and that like all around the world. EA and Dice is really um, going full throttle in this game, so I expect big things. And this is just the beginning. This is just the first taste of what's to come. Obviously, you've been watching this footage on PlayStation 5, captured straight from the console at 4K60. And I gotta say, big ups to Sony, because that is a really amazing feature that these new consoles, even the Xbox Series X, I give it credit, um, that they, they offer this. They offer that 4K60, high dynamic range game capture built straight into the console. You know how expensive a capture card that can do that would cost? That would that would be the equivalent of at least a $250 to $300 capture card, all right? And this does a fantastic job at capturing this footage. Look at this footage here. This is just straight out the console. You know, the PlayStation 4, where I was doing, um, like, 
you know, talkovers for some of my footage for games back then. My only gripe and my only wish moving forward was that the consoles can record higher quality so that it could push the boundaries and make the standard of the quality of the game capture uh, much higher. And this is what you're seeing on the new consoles. And I love that because now that that's the norm, now that 4K TVs are the norm, this is exactly what I wanted from a console experience. We're seeing field of view sliders. We're seeing... Uh, more customizable UI systems, which I can talk about the UI here in a minute. That uh, it is very intuitive. I overall, really like it, and I think that this also has a lot of potential to be adjusted to really suit a lot of people's favorite needs. Now, I guess the only real gripe that I have as of right now is that everybody looks the exact same. So playing without a HUD is super hard to do. Uh, it was much easier to do in Battlefield because of the uniform colors were. Uh, you know very much so the same across the different factions so it was easier to tell who was who but on here i have no idea what i'm looking at this could be a friendly this could be an enemy i'm over here waiting on the aim assist to kick in just to tell if that is a friendly or foe um, thankfully the hud does have some adjustable elements that i really like such as uh, taking off some of those indicators that really clutter up the screen i really don't feel like that stuff is necessary and that's part of the reason why i like to play without the hud just to really keep that immersion and really show off what the game is capable of looking like without all the distractions on the screen but of course with the hud on i feel like i am a bit op uh, and i'm just getting warmed up man i'm just starting to get the feel for the game once again and after a couple of tweaks it's really starting to feel at home just like Battlefield that I'm used to seeing. And now that we're on the new consoles, we really get to see this thing shine. And the potential here is excellent. So I'm noticing a lot of difference here between this and Battlefield 4. One of the main things, of course, is all the customizable options that the consoles have when playing this game. Because honestly, the game looked great on, on PC. You're talking about Battlefield 4 back then. But I would say that my favorite thing that's different is the death screen because the death screen on battlefield 4 was so annoying having to see the orange outline and everything black and white and then you had to like wait forever to respawn well in here they really clean it up they just kind of take away the whole hud you see very basic information on the screen when you die and then you can move on to the next slide real quick so they really clean that up and i appreciate that because that was super annoying back in the battlefield four days and uh you know i actually didn't get into that game as much as i did with battlefield 3 Battlefield 1. Um, I did play a little bit of Battlefield 5. You'll see some footage on my channel from that. And of course, now that I'm on PS5, you can see some of that stuff in 4K as well. And comparing that with this, man, I gotta say the scale is impressive. We got crossplay. We got 128 player battles. You know, this is what I like. I, I like games like Planet Side 2. I like games with massive scale, and nobody does it like Battlefield because the Frostbite engine is incredible and it's top of the line and it's the best in the business you know definitely better than modern warfare in so many ways you look at ground war and modern warfare it felt hollow it felt forced it didn't really feel like a actual conquest type of big map gameplay so modern warfare really is best when it's close quarters combat is shining you know front and center and battlefield really does shine in all aspects because I think the only difference between you know quality is that maybe perhaps Modern Warfare has better interior decorations for buildings and things like that. Battlefield tips, uh, tends to keep it a lot more simple when it comes to the interiors of like uh, you know structures, houses, things like that. Maybe perhaps that, along with its destruction, could really add to the experience. But that's where they really differ is in that large scale stuff, and this is where Battlefield shines. Vehicle warfare you know, uh, squad coordination out the wazoo when it comes to anti-vehicle armaments such as the Stinger, the Rocket Launcher, C4, and things that you can really get creative. You're already seeing the community being very creative with this stuff. So we can't wait to see how that comes out to. There's going to be a lot of highlights. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, good times, good memes, and all kinds of stuff coming from all of the possibilities that this game can offer for the first person shooter genre now we have hazard zone hazard zone is something that we haven't heard too much of yet but we know that it's going to bring that next generation battle royale type of experience that you may be familiar with when uh, you look at like games like 
Escape from Tarkov with super realistic, minimal HUD immersion. You know, that's the kind of stuff I like to see. You look at the reflections on the floor right here. These look like screen space reflections. They don't look like ray tracing, but they look fantastic. So I got to give DICE props where props is due for a game of this scale to look this solid. Man, I'm impressed. And it's only going to get better, yo. The server issues and stuff that you may run into during the beta, I'm not too worried about. Uh, now that we're up and running, we're seeing what's capable on this game. I mean, there's there's so much left to to, to really digest as far as what Battlefield is going to be bringing to the table because there's still so much more to see. We have Portal coming out. Portal is going to be something that's going to be very nostalgic for so many Battlefield fans because we're going to see maps from previous games remastered on this new engine. Imagine seeing some of uh, the weapons and maps from Battlefield 1 on the new gen console and with this frostbite engine with this uh you know tier of next gen you know capabilities with this stuff it's, it's just so tight i don't even know how to talk about this stuff it's too technical but you know i appreciate the effort that they put in and so i'm super excited to see what's possible in the future for the game so you know hope you've been enjoying the footage and just keeping it real simple for now but i will be playing some more try to team up with some of my brothers and try to get some more you know footage to hold us over at least until the game comes out you know predator hunting grounds can wait a little bit because this is going to take center stage when it launches and i love that that game came out because that definitely gives us something to do until then so even though they delayed this game they can really take the time to get it right and predator hunting grounds big shout out to the development team on there because that game i gotta say is looking good on ps5 we've been having lots of fun on that one too so we got a nice one two punch combo for the channel we got predator hunting grounds we got battlefield 2042 what could be better you know what i mean such a such a good uh group of first person shooters made by passionate companies that aren't trying to take all your money like activision's bitch ass right so uh, big ups to dice for putting this out uh you know when they did because everybody was starting to get worried on whether or not this game was really coming together and we're seeing it coming together right now this has been jdez09 with some battlefield 2042 first impressions keep it locked in right here for some more crazy crazy content to come i will be playing without the hud anyways so be on the lookout for some stuff like that too